Hi, I'm Rachel Fawcett, and I'm the author of Handmade Charlotte, and I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to stencil properly. No more bleed through, no more running off edges. This will literally look like it's professionally printed, but it's professionally printed by you. So we're going to squeeze out my, my favorite paint in the whole world, folk art. Let me squeeze it out onto this plate. Stenciling is awesome. And the biggest mistake that people make is when they're stenciling that they actually just pick up way too much paint. So Plaid makes these awesome stencil decor daubers. And the dauber is gonna make all the difference. You're gonna be able to pick up these daubers right in your craft department, right next to your stencils. So I'm gonna pick up a little paint, as you see here, and then literally I'm just gonna take the paint off. We want it almost dry. And we are going to start here. And I'm gonna go around the edges. Don't worry that it's not filling all of your space right now because we're gonna go over again. We're gonna build the paint up with a little patience, as we know. Patience gets you a long way, and it's the same with stenciling. Don't worry, you're not gonna see these circles on your stencil. It will be a nice, smooth finish when you're, when you're finished. Okay, so we finished our daubing and with our awesome plaid daubers. And I am going to just very carefully pick up my stencil and awesome, perfect. Perfect every time using the dauber and the building up technique. I'm really excited about that and you'll, you'll have great success as well.